So let's go back this way. Uh, bean seeds, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Now, the thing is, though, is I wouldn't get to... Yeah, more. I wouldn't get that excited about beans in real life. I'm not particularly a fan. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and we're picking up right where we left off in the last episode. Uh, all I did was uh, move all of our stuff from uh, the last episode over to here. So uh, this is all food stuff. This is all item stuff. And these two are ores. Um, and, of course, we're going to have to put even more chests down as we can continue this process. Uh, so we're going to head right on over uh, to this wreck and do it next. Um, actually... Before we do that, though, I'm going to grab, uh, let's grab, a, yeah, let's grab one more water and a couple O2s as well. And uh, yeah, we're good on food. We don't need to top off. We'll, most likely we'll find some more food in here anyway. So I think this ship is fairly small, but then again, I thought the other one wasn't going to be that big either. And it was, so we'll just see what happens here. Um, I'm going to need to build ourselves a, the usual shack here. Uh, oh, wow, two uraniums. Very nice. Um, okay, let's grab one more of those and one of those. And we need some silicon. And I think, is that aluminum? It is aluminum. How about that? Let's go ahead and set up our shack right here. And do I have everything for the door? Yep. And what the hell, we might as well do a crafting station too, because why not? Lots of resources around. Um, and I'm going to grab uh, some more iron too, so that way we can set up some storage. Just quickly run around and grab whatever's nearby. We'll, we'll uh, explore this area later, too. There's more loot and things there for us. Uh, yeah, I want six iron so I can set... Uh, six additional iron, I should say, so I can set down a locker. So we need one more iron because we're also going to make the... Uh, the bin thingy. Okay. Yeah, there's more stuff in, the, in in these little cliff areas that we can investigate. Don't know if we'll get to that in this episode, but we'll see. Also got to thinking, too, that I might actually end up moving our outpost uh, at the edge of the lake once it fills in. Just because, the you know, the view is going to be nicer there. Uh, but we'll see how that how that all works out. Okay, so we're going to put you here. <clears throat> and make some lockers. Pretty much the same drill as before. And let's just put all of you in there, but we'll keep an O2 and a water with us. In fact, you know what? We, well, yeah, let's wait till it wears out. So we're stretching it out as long as possible. I think we're good on the food. All right, let's head on in here and see what's going on. Okay, so we can go to the left. We can't go to the right. Let's go left first. Not seeing anything in those lockers, but we do have a chip and that, which kind of sucks, but that's the way it goes sometimes. And I think that's all we can do in here. All right, let's um, go around through here. We'll break this down. Okay, that doesn't suck. And we have another chest over here with some food and cloth and stuff. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like that's all the further we can go there. So now what we have to do is deconstruct our way through here. Uh, 
We got a tier two heater and another chip. And two things here. The Tusca seed's good. Oh, and another squash. Okay, yep, yeah, we'll take that. And two squashes, even better. All right, we'll have to come back for that and to take this heater part. And I think that's all we could do in this ship. So yeah, this is definitely one of the smaller ones. And possibly the first one that players hit. Um, not necessarily though, I mean, that one up there is usually the first one I've gone to in the past. Put everything in here. Including that stuff. Uh, we need to drink. And we'll go back and get the rest of it. Just taking those apart alone is worth the price of admission. Okay, good. Love that we're getting the squash seed too. We're we're definitely going to be able to completely replace uh, all the eggplant back at the base, at least for our current food processors. All right, well, that's all we ended up with here. So I'm going to just pull everything out and go drop it off at the main base. And then um, I'll see you guys over at that wreck over there. All right, there's something I wanted to actually show you guys. We're over here by the first wreck that we did. Um, and we have a cave that has, uh, at least the first part of the blockage has melted away. Um, and that gives us access to osmium. Um, well, yeah, we'll grab that too. We always need iron. And also sulfur. So there's sulfur in this cave. And then there's more blockage further down in, which will require, of course, even more heat to get to it right here. Uh, yeah, so we got part way into the cave anyway. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. I think that's all we can get to at this point. Got something up there? No. All right, let's head on back, put this stuff away, and then we'll hit the next wreck. Now, I think this wreck's going to be larger, more substantial. Uh, but I can't, I don't remember for sure, but I think it is. Um, there might be another cave over that way, too. Something we could potentially investigate later. Oh, you know what? Something just occurred to me. And I have not, uh, just so you know, I have not seen the comments from two episodes ago yet where we went to the lava zone. But we get into this ship through the bridge, and I think there was a bridge on that ship too. And now that I think about it, maybe that's how we got in there. So we'll have to go back and check that. And again, if you did leave a comment to that effect, I haven't seen it yet. Um... But yeah, and that, that just now occurred to me. So we'll have to go back and check that out. Um, okay, so we're gonna need to drink some water here pretty soon. Um, let's go ahead and go in for our first loot sesh and hopefully we'll come out with some iron that we can use to make more storage. Just looking around to see if there's anything to see in here. Like maybe a hidden golden chest, perhaps? You never know. Doesn't look that way, though. Okay, let's take this. Okay, here we can go left and right. So we'll go left first. And... Oh, normally we can take those apart, but I guess we can't in this case. Okay, this gives us a ladder going down, it appears. Um, here, I want to look at something. Okay, the direction we came in is basically from the north. 
so that way. All right, so let's go north first. Well, it looks like this is all the further we can go anyway. <gasps> eggplants. Oh, eggplant seeds. Eh. Why does it have to be eggplant? <laughs> um, I'm not even going to grab those. I mean, if by some off chance we need them later on, we can always come back and get them. But yeah, I'm not going to grab them right now. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, bean seeds. We are grabbing those. In fact, you know what? Let's make sure these are all just eggplant. Yeah, they are. Okay. Bean seeds are the cat's meow, man. That's some good shit there. Just kind of checking all along the walls here. All right, we got a couple crates. Mushroom seeds, nice. Um, we're doing okay at the moment on uh, food. Is that a golden flower? Oh, it is, or a golden seed, rather. There's some squash. We'll take that. And a rocket engine. Damn, son. Squash seeds, squash seeds. There's some sh some shish, some really good loot in here. Wasn't sure what my mouth was trying to say there. <laughs> I was kind of thinking like good loot and good shit at the same all at the same time. Maybe something like that. Okay, that's all just eggplant. We do have yeah, we've got O2s. Just double checking. Never know about me, man. We we set the rule that we always gotta have that shit, but I forget things sometimes. Um, all right. We have a couple more spots. I think we've explored everything we can in the this first area. So let's go back this way. Uh, bean seeds, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Now, the thing is, though, is I wouldn't get to... Yeah, more. I wouldn't get that excited about beans in real life. I'm not particularly a fan. Uh, okay, so yeah, we're going to have to come back for that. I'm just going to... Oh, that's just a bunch of iron. Okay, good stuff. Okay, yeah, we'll have to come back for this stuff. So let's go drop off this load and then we'll come back down. Uh, we want to go north to get out of here. Okay, let's go back down here and over this way. Yeah, we'll take all that iron. You betcha. Okay, I think that's it for this section of the ship. But boy, was that ever a jackpot. Primarily for the beans. You know what? I, I do like green beans. I like French cut green beans. I like just normal green beans. My wife, uh, she'll, she'll put like uh, chunks of bacon in the green beans sometimes. That's, that's pretty damn good stuff, I gotta say. But the starchy types of beans, you know, like kidney beans and stuff like that, eh, I'm not a huge fan. And this is probably a little TMI, but they're not a huge fan of me either. <laughs> Which is kind of why I'm not a huge fan, if that makes sense. Okay, anyway, I can't believe I just told you guys that. Uh, moving on. Um, I think we're done down here, right? Uh, yeah, I don't want eggplant seed. There might be a purpose for growing as much eggplant as you possibly can later on, and if we've discovered that, we'll come back and grab it. If I remember, and that's a big if, of course. Um, all right. Let's head on back up. And we'll drop off this load, and then we'll start investigating the next part of the ship, the, the right-hand side. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, check out the other side of the ship now. Nothing along through here. we got some servers we can take apart later. Let's get rid of this guy. There's a compartment with... Wait, what? It's... Why does it say deconstruct, but... Um... What? 
We just got iron for deconstructing something that's not there. <laughs> okay. Don't ask me, man. Don't ask me. Okay, we'll take that apart. We got some oxygen flower seeds in here. Let's see what's in here first. All right, we'll take all of that. We'll grab the seeds. Why can't I pick that up? There we go. Oh, look at that. We got a ladder going upstairs. Okay. My goodness. Lots of seeds in here. We'll take them. Especially if they're Tusca seeds. Take that apart and take a squash seed and a squash seed and leave the eggplant seeds. Oh, and a rocket. Wow, that is cool, man. We found quite a few rockets in these wrecks recently. All right, let's get back out and get some O2. Make another uh, locker here. And back in for another run. Those are all eggplant seeds. All right, let's go up. Uh, okay, try that again. Up. There we go. Another one of those thingamadoodles. Oh, and another rocket engine. Dang. I'll take it. Fusion reactor. Lyrmaseed. Lyrmaseed. Beans, yeah, baby. And what do we got in here? Okay, pretty decent stuff. Uranium rod means another power thingy for us. Uh, let's eat this right now, and we'll take all of this. Uh, we might as well drink that right now, too. Yeah, that requires the Tier 2 deconstructor. Very good. All right. Can't take any of that apart. Okay, so that wraps up all of the wrecks in, you know, near the starter zone that I'm aware of anyways. I don't think there are any more that are in this area. But uh, that was a pretty damn good haul. Pretty damn good haul. I mean, we got, okay, so beans, rockets, uranium, supers... Anything, uh, bean seeds especially. Uh, let's put the Lermas in there. Uh, chips. We'll take that. Lots of squash and more mushrooms there. And the Tusca seeds are really good too. Okay, yeah, let's take the squash seeds, the golden seed, the mushroom seed, and I guess, I mean, well, we're going to come back and get the rest of this anyway, so it kind of doesn't really matter. We'll get it all. All right, I'm going to take this back to the outpost base and come back and get this other load, and then we'll decide what to do from there.
All right, guys, so I got nearly everything out of there. Um, I think I have like two uh, Lerma seeds and a magnesium or something like that left, but I got everything else. I want to go over here because this looks like it could potentially be a cave. And let's just poke our head in there. And there's also a, a smaller cave inside the larger cave where all the iridium is. And we can take a peek in there as well. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a cave. What do we got in here? Oh, nice. Super alloy. What is this? Oh, it's just a normal chest. Um, okay, let's take that and that. I'm going to leave the rest of that stuff there. Very cool. Now, I think that when we get... <laughs> Excuse me. I think when we get the higher tier ore extractors, we can put those in these caves and get the ores, you know, that are in the caves. But I don't think we can do that with a tier one. In fact, uh, we haven't even been able to pull aluminum with a tier one, it seems, unless I'm doing something wrong, which is entirely possible. All right, let's go around through here. What is that? It's another warden's altar. Oh, look at the door here. I just got a, an achievement said, a door seven, find a weird door in an ice cave or something. Well, okay. We have, we have that other key that we found. How much you want to bet that's where it goes. We'll have to come back here and test that theory. But in the meantime, let's pick up all the super. What a trip, man. Oxygen's low. We got two O2 bottles, so we're fine. There's another one. Okay, let's take that. This is a different chest. We'll take the water. Well, uh, let's actually take all of it. Another super. Anything hiding up here in this little nook? All right, so we've been all through there. That doesn't go anywhere else. As well take all of this too. Okay, we pulled a decent amount of supers out of here. And I think that's it. Just double checking. I think we went all through here. Yeah, okay, that's the room with the the altar thingy in it. All right, fantastic. We have pulled a lot of good stuff out of these uh, these last uh, few trips that we've made. Uh, that goes to the north. I don't even know what's out there, but let's not get too terribly far away from our shelter. I've got four more slots, so let's go back to the ship and grab the last couple, three things we had over there, and then we'll go back to our outpost. Oh, here's a chest. And water. Nice. Um, that, 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 and that. The rest of that stuff will have to wait. Um, or what we could do is put the basic stuff in here. 
and grab the better stuff. Um, yeah, let's grab this and the Shanga seed. We'll leave all that stuff in there. Okay. Is there anything up on top of this ship? I wonder if there's a way to get in here. Maybe when we get better equipment. Very possible. Um, all right. I'm just going to leave that there again because none of that's super important. Let's head back to the outpost. We have one more cave we're going to explore in this episode. And it's the cave that's inside of this cave. Okay, yeah, so let's go back in here. And all the way in the back is another cave that was originally blocked by ice, but we should be able to get at least into the first part of it. Uh, yeah, we'll take that food. Right back through here. Oh. Wait a minute. This just opens out into... A new zone. Okay. This is interesting. Green gas zone. With sulfur. Oh, nice. Okay. So this is the sulfur zone. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, okay, so... Oh, you know what? I think that's the sand falls over there. That biome was in the game originally, or at least when I played it. Yep, sure enough. Yeah, this is called the Sand Falls, and I know that if you go behind the falls, there, um, there is nice stuff. Um, there's a super on the ground, super alloy. So if you just kind of Walk behind, see, yeah, there's supers. And I don't, I don't know if there's something else. Like, is there another cave or something back here? Don't think so. Yeah, but lots of supers. I remember that from before. drop basic stuff that we can get anywhere pretty much going to drop everything except for iron and we'll replace it with super as much as we can carry Looking to see if there's anything hidden in the sand here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of super alloy back here. 
Inventory's full. Shit. Um, all right. Let's start dumping iron. Well, let's eat a food, too. That frees us up one spot. Oh, I guess we had a free spot there. Is there anything up here? Uh-uh. Okay. Kind of hate to drop that iron out, but super alloy is worth far more than iron is. Guess I could have made a chest to put that stuff in, but then we have to run back to it each time. Um, Shanga seed. Yeah, I don't really want to get rid of any of the rest of this. Okay, well that's fine. We don't have to pick it all up right now, but as you can see, there's still... Uh, oh, are we at the end? Pretty much at the end of the fall. So we almost got all of it. Okay, let's go check this chest here. Um, well, we don't really have room for any of that stuff. We might as well drink the free water, though. Okay. So if we go back this way... Okay, so it goes... Yeah, it goes back to... Oh! Uh, what's the matter with us now? Okay, we gotta go. Is that... I think that's the ship we just looted, isn't it? Or is that a new ship? I'm pretty sure... That's our ship. Yeah, okay. So that's just another way to get through there. I have to say, man, this has been one profitable trip. Indeed it has. Wait a minute, we are at the right ship, right? Pretty sure we are. Yeah, there's our shack right there. Okay. I'm going to stick you in there for a second so we can get our requisite O2 bottle. We're not supposed to be running around without one. It's against the rules, man. That is against the rules. All right, let me grab that again. Aha! Nuclear reactor tier 2. Beautiful. Well, what it's going to take to make that sucker. Let's get back to the uh, the base here, and then we'll take a look at that. It takes three uranium rods and an explosive powder. We don't know how to make explosive powder yet. I think once we make the uh, this guy, the bio lab, we might be able to make it then, but I'm not sure. We'll have to see. All right. Yeah, this has been hugely profitable, guys. Hugely profitable. Um, I mean, just look at everything I have in my inventory right now. But with this whole chest here is full of high-level ores. And we have even more in this chest. Uh, we've, we've come away with four bean seeds, and we have one back at the base. Uh, so we have, like, the top end, you know, food that we can grow directly from seeds anyways. There, um... We got a whole shit ton of blueprints and three rocket engines. Uh, plus, we have a uranium rod right there. And uh, this is just all a bunch of ores in here, a bunch of ores in there. Uh, these are all uh, plant seeds, including two golden seeds and it looks like seven, eight, nine Tusca seeds. Super good. And uh, this is just some more extra overflow that we had. Okay, so, um, let's see what's going to happen next. Um, 
There is stuff over in that biome we could loot. But I think what I'm inclined to do at this point is haul all of this crap back to the base, which of course I will do off camera. I wonder if that's a shortcut going through there. Uh, because otherwise we would go that way to the Stargate and then kind of work our way back around. Maybe we should investigate that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna haul all this stuff back to the main base, and then we uh, we'll probably start working on, you know, making some more machines, heaters, oxygen, drills, etc., to continue raising our terraformation index. And um, so that's the general plan for the next episode. So yeah, I'll get this all hauled back uh, off camera. It's going to take me several trips, of course. And um, as in terms of, you know, oh shit, dang, <laughs> that was close. Uh, in terms of building an an outpost here, what I think we'll do, because you know we'll we'll have a reason to come back here, to go to go into those sh shit pus. Okay, why am I outside talking? We should be in here where we're protected. Um, you know, we ha we'll have a reason to come back here to go through the ships, you know, when we get the Tier 2 Deconstructor. Um, so we might... We might set up a... Just looking to see if any of those are coming right at me. Uh, a base right on the edge of, of that area th there which will eventually turn into a lake um you know not, just a small outpost kind of base not not like a big major base because our big major base of course is going to be at the waterfall so um but we'll kind of see how things come together i have an idea um before i let you guys go why don't we make ourselves a blueprint screen and we can eat all these chips and then that's you know almost a half a load of stuff that i don't have to bring back uh, yeah, so let's do that. Let's see. We need an iron and a silicon uh, to do that. There's an iron and a silicon. We'll just set you down there. And then let's grab all of the chips. And see what we can get. Agility boots tier three. Uh, do we make those in here? We do, but we need explosive powder. Increase was movement speed by 45%. Okay, cool. What else will we get? A display case, okay. Uh, decoration stuff. A microchip map. Allows to display the map from anywhere. Hmm, that requires an obsidian, which we don't have right at the moment. Okay. A tier 3 GPS satellite. Not sure what that does. Tier 3 jetpack, baby. That we're going to have to make in the advanced workstation. So we'll have to see. Um, you'll have to see what that's about. Can I, though, I'm just curious to see. don't remember is that in this category no oh you know what I don't think that is gonna show up here because these are blueprint microchips not blueprint regular so we'll have to just wait until we get back to see what that is in terms of you know how fast it'll let us go okay let's do the next thing an interior wall, okay. Construction menu filter. All right, so I guess that means when we're in this menu, it gives us a filter to find stuff, which I can see that where that's probably gonna be important as we continue 
putting more shit in here, right? Okay. Deconstruction tier two. Okay, that's the one we need to take apart that better stuff in the starships. Can we make that in here? We can. A methane cartridge. Okay, we have zeolite. I don't know how to do a methane cartridge. Okay, so we'll have to wait till that unlocks for us. GPS satellite T4, don't know what that does. A flare. Okay. Drones visualization rocket. Does that mean we can fly the drone around and get it like an eye in the sky kind of idea? Hmm. That's kind of how I interpret that. What do you mean? We have three more thingies. What are you talking about, man? No more blue. Hmm. That's weird. I wonder if we have to reach a, a certain threshold before more of them become available to us, maybe? That would be my guess. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't know. But apparently we're done for now. <laughs> all right, guys. So, yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode here. I'm going to work on getting all of this crap back to our main base. It's going to take me a little while to do that, of course. Uh, then once we get everything back there, um, we'll probably start working on um, some more terraformation stuff. You know, building more oxygen, drill, and heat uh, components. And uh, then go from there. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.